Hey guys, happy Mishmas. We are gonna do a declutter today and we are starting with my Pat McGrath lip drawer. All right, it is time. It is time for me to say goodbye to some of these. I obviously cannot use all of these. I um, love them all very much, but some of these are very old. I bought a lot of these like on launch day, like her matte trans lipsticks, and they're just old at this point. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything in frame. Uh, so I'm gonna start up here and I'm just gonna go back. These are all the lip glosses, obviously. Um, so let's see, I forget even when these special cases came out, but it was when she first started doing like special packaging and uh, they weren't special colors. So this is Omi, which was part of her initial matte trans release. So I got it for the special packaging. You can see I haven't even used it. I do want to keep it because of the special packaging, but I'm also tempted to donate this because it's unused and I have a whole box that I'm prepping for Project Beauty Share. Well, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go through and just kind of see what happens here. Uh, here is another one in Elson and you know what, I'm gonna definitely donate this. I have one of the red, I don't need both, and I definitely like Omi more than Elson. So that is gonna to go to Project Beauty Share. Um, here is 1995, and I'm just doing a quick like sniff test of all of these. I think they're okay, hold on. Sometimes I feel like you can't smell how bad it is in the bullet, you have to like actually swatch it on your hand. No, that one actually smells okay. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna keep 1995. This was one of my favorite matte trans colors from her. And what's annoying is a lot of these older lipsticks from her are like falling apart, which is really, really annoying. This one I can still turn up. Some of them I can't even turn up anymore. It's probably an easy fix of just a little glue, but I don't know. Anyway, um, here's Flesh 3. Oh yeah, see, here's one that I can't even turn up. Well, I do like that color. So I'll hold on to that and see if I can fix that mechanism. Here's Obsessed. I barely wore this color, but I did actually use it, so I can't donate it to Project Beauty Share, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Here is Fembot. I do love that color. Here is Deep Void. I love this color too. I feel like this color's gotten even darker. <laughs> Darker with age. Yeah, that one smells fine too. Okay, I'll hold on to Deep Void. Uh, here's Los Angeles. This is probably my favorite Lux Trance lipstick from Pat McGrath. I don't even know what she's doing with these lipsticks. They seem to be out of stock, on sale, so I don't know if they're just clearing out inventory, if they're redoing the whole line. I'm not sure what's happening, but anyway, I'm gonna hold on to Los Angeles. Here is Lavish. God, these colors are so beautiful. Lavish. Oh, that's gorgeous. I do have to use these more often. Here is Modern Woman. Such a great, cool toned, like mauve. Oh, that's gorgeous. Here's Donatella, another one that I love, love, love. It's a Lux Trance formula. This one is Antidote. Here's like a purpley matte trance. This was such a fun color. I never use it though, and it's hard It's hard to spin around. So I'm gonna declutter that. Madame Grige, this is one of my all-time favorites as well. Let me swatch, there's Madame Grige. There's um, Modern Woman. I feel like Modern Woman is like the matte version of it, of Madame Grige. Um, this one is Realness. Beautiful nude. This one is Leatherette. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Such a rich, warm brown. I have to whip these out again, I really do. Yeah, smells good. Here is Elsin. I got rid of the red cased Elsin, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. I'm not doing so good so far. What is this? This one, oh, Valletta. You know, I thought I would like this color a lot more than I do. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's too peachy. I'm gonna hold on to it though because it definitely is a color in my wheelhouse and it is still good. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Here is McGrath. Wow, 
Wow, that is a gorgeous red. I have so many reds like this at this point. I'm going to declutter that one. Here is Sedition. Ooh, this is a rich, deep red. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna declutter this too. I just have so many of these reds and I don't wear red that often. Uh, this one is She's Heaven. Oh, these nudes though from Pat McGrath are so good. There's She's Heaven, I'm gonna keep that. Major red, oh, so it's brighter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one too. Attitude, oh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Stranger. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, there's Stranger. I'm gonna keep Stranger. That is a red that I really, really love. Oh, here's Full Panic. Oh, this is a fun, fun color. I never, ever use colors like this, though, even though they're so beautiful. A super hot pink. I'm gonna declutter it. And then we have Unnatural Natural. Oh, this is pretty too. These are close. I feel like I like Unnatural Natural a lot. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to declutter Stranger, which was this one, and keep Unnatural Natural. Unnatural Natural is like a little bit more brown and less red which I prefer. Uh, which one is this? This is McMenemy. Oh my God, she was one of my favorite models back in the day. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so annoying. Well, this was a matte trance, very deep color that well, I do really love. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna declutter it. I'm just gonna declutter it. I'm already keeping so many. And then we have, uh, oh, Omi. So here is Omi. Wow. I barely use this one. I really like this color too. Jeez. Yeah, I love this color, but I do have it in the red case. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this. And then here's 35 millimeter. Ooh, here, let me see. Oh, that's much more red. It's almost like a wine color. I'm gonna declutter that. This one is Sextrology. Ooh, that one is pretty. I think I like this one more than, this was the Valletta. I think I like the Sextrology more. It's a little bit more pink. I think that was my problem with Valletta. It was very peach. It was like one of those shades that made my teeth look a little yellow. So here's Valletta. Yeah, I think I'm going to declutter that one. Here is Divine Brown. Oh, oh, we have a little patina there on the bullet. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's such a good color though. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and look that up because I really do like this color. I mean, it's such a beautiful, just straight up brown. Love it. She's so deep. This is, oh, this one has like a purpley tinge. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we have Elson too. Do like this red more than all of these because it's a little bit more orangey. See how it almost makes these look pink? Okay, I'll hold on to Elson too. And then we have some of these like other ones. I can never remember the names because <laughs> they're all slightly similar. So these are the Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balms. This one is Wild Cherry. So I'm gonna declutter that, I never use it. Here is Full Fantasy. Oh, this one I like. I do like that one. I'm just gonna do a sniff test. Yeah, this smells okay. Uh, this one is Flesh 3. Yep, I'll hold on to that. Here is Dark Devotion. I'm going to declutter that. And then here is the Gold Astral Lip Fetish Lip Balm. This one I'm definitely going to keep. I love these. I'm running out of 
arm room. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. Actually, I'm gonna move these up here. And then these are, let's see, the Blitz Trans lipstick. So this is Blitz Gold. As much as I love that, I never, never wear it. I'm gonna declutter that. This one is uh, Flesh Fatale. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Oh, I'm getting, oh boy, I'm getting lipstick everywhere. Let me wipe off my arm. And then we have a Nude Romantic. I'll hold on to that, that one's pretty too. Here is a Lip Fetish Lip Balm. This is VR Pink Astral. Oh, I love these. <laughs> love that, I'm gonna hold on to that. Here's a Lip Fetish Lip Balm. I. <laughs> You can see I use this quite a bit, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it quits on that one. The Ultra Vixen Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. I'm gonna declutter that. The Bronze Astral Lip Fetish Lip Balm. Ooh, that's fun. That's fun. I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, Love Supreme Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. Mm, I'm gonna declutter that. Blow Up Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. Oh, this is, my, I think, my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Here is Passion Flower Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. I don't even remember these names. Oh, look, a really light light pink. That's pretty. I'm going to hold on to that. Then, let's see. Nude Astral Lip Fetish Lip Balm. Ooh, that's so much fun. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. We have Six Sexy. <laughs> this is one of the sheer color lip balms. Let's see. It's very close to blow up. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this because I have blow up. And then we have all of the Star Wars ones. I'm definitely keeping those. Um, and then, I actually have two of these. I don't know where my other one is. Probably in a handbag somewhere. The Lip Fetish Astral Lip Balm in Rose Quartz Astral. I just got these, so I'm gonna hold on to this. And then, I mean, I love all of her lip glosses. Yeah, there really isn't much I'm going to get rid of here. Let's see. Yeah, I love I love all of these. I can probably get rid of this one. I don't wear like red lip gloss very often, I'm realizing. And I don't have a lot, so that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna declutter that. That one I love. Yeah, these, okay, this one I obviously love a lot. Divine Rose. Wicked Whisper. This one I wear a lot. This one is, oh yeah, Nude Negligee. And this one, Future Femme. Ugh, I love this one. These two, those are fun. And then this one is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, Faux Real. Love that one. That one too. Oh, I have one down here. Let's see. This one is Flush 4. All right, well, I'm keeping all of those lip glosses, except for that one red one that I know I'm just never gonna use. And, well, I guess I can move all these up here. And use this for something else. All right, that was good progress. So here is the pile. 
of lipsticks I am getting rid of. All right, here is um, the drawer right above where I kept my Pat McGrath lipsticks. So these, th these are just more, <laughs> just more lipsticks. I was gonna try and explain what these were. They're just more lipsticks. Um, they don't fit in this drawer, which is where I have like most of my lipsticks and they're a little bit more organized because I have that Sunny Cosmetics like acrylic organizer in here and it's it's overflowing. This this is gonna have to be decluttered again. Um, but these are ones that are just overflow. So I don't know that I'm gonna get rid of a lot here, although I have a lot of House of Siage um, refills and I don't need like replicas of all of that. So um, any of them that are still in boxes, I'm definitely going to um, donate to Project Beauty Share. Basically anything unused, I'm going to donate to Project Beauty Share and anything that's been used, unfortunately, because it's a lip product, I'm going to have to just declutter. Let me just go through all of these. So I do have all of these shades from House of Siage, so I am going to go ahead and donate these to Project Beauty Share. And then here are my, whoa, <laughs> here are my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude lipsticks. I really love these, so I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. These are just really, really great nudes. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all of these. And then these are more House of Siage uh, refills. Let's see, I think, are these all new? Let me just check here. This one is night. Yeah, that is not used. Donate that, donate this. Oops, Ooh, what color is this? This one is the crown. But I'm gonna donate this as well. This is a nude Envy lipstick. Ooh, that's new. Okay, I'm gonna donate that. Oh, my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks are in here. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of those. This one is Velvet Blush. Here are my La Bouche Rouge lipsticks. I'm definitely not getting rid of these. Definitely not getting rid of the cases. Those lipsticks are good still. I have a Guerlain lipstick. This one is relatively new, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Isn't that case gorgeous? Um, let's see, this was a gift, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is a Julie Hewitt lipstick. This is the Nude Noir, and I've used this, I think, a couple of times, but I really love this shade. But this was a gift from a subscriber, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, oh, Bobbi Brown. What is this? Beige Gold. Oh, I do like this. But I completely forgot about it. Let's see how I do. I'm gonna put this aside. Here is a Suku lipstick in the shade 113. Oh yeah, this is one. Did I get this in Japan? Oh God, I can't even remember. But that is so awesome. Yeah, definitely keeping that. Here is Allure Mercier in Rouge Electric. Oh, that is the red that I like. Yeah, let me hold on to this. Here is a Givenchy lipstick. Oh, this was one of their metallic glitter shades. Oh, pretty. I'm gonna hold on to that. I need to use these now that it's fall winter. I feel like I got a lot of these off season and was like, oh, I definitely need to use those when the weather cools down. It's like perfect winter color and I've forgotten about them. Um, here is a Killian lipstick. So this is 150 Devil Rouge. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And I did get rid of a lot of Pat McGrath's deep colors that have a little purple undertone. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. And I love this case. Isn't that cool? Okay, all of my Hermes lipsticks I'm gonna be holding on to. So I'm just gonna transfer them over here because I'm running out of room. My Byredo lipsticks I'm definitely keeping. I love these. And then these are like La Bouche Rouge refill cases. I don't really know what to do with them, but I keep them in case, you know, obviously I wanna like swap them out or something. So I'll just leave them in here. More Guerlain lipsticks. Ooh, I do love this color. Yeah, 
pretty sheer gold, like peachy gold color. That's pretty. And then I have this gold case. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. This one is like a little bit more subdued versus that Pat McGrath that I decluttered. Am I ever going to use this though? Well, I'll hold on to it since I have to hold on to the case anyway. So put that aside. Um, Dear Dahlia. Oh, this is a pretty color. I feel like I have a bunch of these kind of like electro peach colors. So I'm going to declutter that. Uh, a Louboutin lipstick. Ooh, that's pretty. What color is this? 710. I remember when I bought this. Oh, yeah. That is great. I'm going to hold on to that. <laughs> I need to pull this out actually and use it. And then I have more um, House of Siage refills. Let's see if these are used. Yeah, this is new. Duke, this is new. This is new. That's new. Is that used? I can't tell. There's like a little bit of a smudge right there. Well, let me hold on to it. I don't want to risk it. Oh, these are empty. <laughs> that must be in an actual bow tie lip ca lipstick case. Okay, so this one is empty. These two are new. Oh, these are all the balms. These are awesome. So I'm going to hold on to all of the House of Siage balms. They just came out with these. This one's Royal Balm. Yeah, Diamond Balm, Rose Balm. I'm going to hold on to all of these. And I know I swatched these. So these, whoa, these are not new. So we have Peachfully Speaking. I'm going to hold on to these. These were their new, like, nudes. Um, nude Siren. I'm going to hold on to that. The Bombshell. I'm going to hold on to that. Exotic Rosewood, Nude Sakura the Royal and Golden Hour. So these are all from the nude collection. The Royal, this one, this is not a color I would wear and I think I did swatch this. That's kind of a bummer. All right, I'm gonna declutter this one. Maharani and Monarch. So here is Monarch, that's been swatched. And here's Maharani, this one has been swatched also. I think I'm gonna declutter these. I'm not, definitely not gonna wear these. And then this last one is Royal Highness. I'm also going to declutter this one. And I think that's it for uh, my House of Siage refills. So I feel good about the ones I'm keeping, basically like the newer lines, the nudes and the balms, which are definitely my favorites. Um, so those are all here now. And then I have all of my <laughs> Lisa Eldridge lipsticks here, which I'm keeping. So I'm just going to hold on to all of those. I have this one sitting here. So I'm just going to put this here. I have one Kogan Doe lipstick here. This is the Beige 403 shade. I'm going to hold on to this. I do love the Kogan Doe lipsticks. Um, let's just put that there for now. I have my three Femme de Poppy lipsticks that I love, absolutely love. I think Poppy King, um, you know, she's like the brains behind um, Lipstick Queen. She left there, started her own line. These were sold exclusively at Barney's. So since Barney's went under, I think um, I think she's trying to figure out a way to sell sell these like direct to customer. So I hope she does it. I think these are wonderful, wonderful. This one is. Um, Emperor's Nude. They're awesome. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to these. Let's see, we have a Kosas Vegas lipstick. I love this color. Look how beautiful that nude is. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to hold on to that. And then, oh, I have my Christian Audette lipsticks up here. This is um, Noel. So this was like a holiday collection. I believe they came out with last year. God, time flies. Um, yeah, this was last year's but there is Noel, and then here is Ms. Mistletoe. Aren't those great? One of these smells waxy, hold on. Oh, this one, this Noel one, this one smells a little off. Okay, I'm gonna declutter that one. Hold on to that one. My Bond Number no. 9 lipsticks that you guys know I love, love, love. No smell, I had to be sure. <laughs> So that was Central Park. 
This one is Hudson Yards. Oh, I love this one. There is Hudson Yards. Here is Madison Square Park. There, oh, did I even show you the swatch? That one's Madison Square Park. And then this one is Gramercy Park. This one was probably my most worn one. There is Gramercy Park. And then here is Park Avenue. I forgot I had this red. Then, oh, another Louboutin. Which one is this one? Oh, wow. I don't remember buying this. This is 605S. Huh. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's kind of a sheer. Oh, I do remember getting this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think I got this from Sephora. It's kind of a sheer color. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, holding on to that. Yep, still smells good. And then I have a whole bunch of YSL lipsticks that I love and never use. <laughs> Some of these are old though, so I wonder if they're maybe not so good anymore. This one is, this is one of the shine. I think it's color number 12. I don't see a name down here. This is, oh, that's so pretty. Yep, that one still smells good. And these have like a fruity scent. <clears throat> Excuse me, these have a fruity scent, which I really appreciate. Um, here is, let's see, a Voluptsheer uh, candy in number five. Have I never used this? Oh my God, I'm gonna give this away then. Yeah, I'm gonna donate this. I don't think I've ever used this one. Here's another sheer candy in number one. This one I've definitely used. That still smells good. Here's a Volup Shine in number nine. There is number nine. That one still smells good. Here is number 11. Yep, that smells good. Here is, oh, this is a tint and balm in number eight. This one had like the lips in there. It's like more sheer than these other ones. Yep, that smells good. And then here's number 22. Ooh, pretty. Mm, that still smells good. I really have to use these. I mean, look at how beautiful these are. And I love a sheer lip. I don't know why I never reach for these. Okay, here is a YSL. Rouge Pure Couture in number, I'm guessing number 70. I am going to declutter this. I'm never gonna use this. And I feel like I got this as part of like a whole set that maybe had some of these, which I wanted. And this one I don't really want. I'm going to declutter that. And then let's move up here a little bit. So I don't know, for some reason I have one of my bond number nine boxes here. Yeah, this is just for a refill, so I don't, I, well, okay. I definitely don't eat this. I have an Hermes box. I don't know why I'm keeping these. Wow, these are super, super old. Pat McGrath. These are from, I think like kits. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm not even gonna open them up because I'm sure they've gone bad. I mean, these are really old. And then I have an Edward Best uh, Pure Impulse. Oh yeah, this was such a great nude. Still smells good. Hold on to that. Um, another Edward Bess in Nude Lotus. Oh, this was like concealer lip. <laughs> concealer lip. I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, and then my last Edward Bess, this one is Night Romance. That one smells funky. I'm going to get rid of it. It smells. It smells waxy. And then here's another Kogan Doe balm that I know I've used, but I have that other one that I like more, so I'm gonna declutter this one. And then two Shantikai Lip Sheiks. These I got a gazillion years ago. This one is in the shade Ceylon. Still smells fine, okay. And then here is Sorry Rose. This could have been the very first Shantikai lip product I ever got. Yeah, that one smells fine. Okay, and then we do have some newer lipsticks here. I have the Carolina Herrera. Um, haven't worn these as much as I would like, but I'm gonna hold on to these since these are relatively new. This is a very, very light nude, very light. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put these over here. The Jimmy Choo lipsticks, which I wish they would distribute more widely because I really, really love these. Um, but I think they're still only being sold at Harrods, which is not the most convenient for us. But look at this color. Isn't this color 
amazing. I, oh my God, I just love it. I raved about this one when I first got it. Yeah, that one's called Coral Kiss. Oh my God, so beautiful. This one is Daring Pink. There's Daring Pink. And this one is Burgundy Charm. So definitely holding on to those. And then I see here I have some <laughs> lipsticks, I guess you could say I've been kind of collecting. So these are the Urban Decay Basquiat lipsticks. I actually really like these lipsticks, but I wanted to keep the, the cases for these because I do love Basquiat. This one is abstract. This one I love, this color. Such a great grungy nude. These still smell okay, surprisingly. I love these cases. And then this one is Epigram. And then I have these three NARS Erdem collab lipsticks. These were so cool too because they were kind of sheer. I hope these are still good. Here is Carnal Carnation. There's Carnal Carnation. You know what? I do not wear like red balms. I'm gonna declutter that. Then we have Moon Orchid and Voodoo Lily. I really loved these. So this one is Moon Orchid. And then Voodoo Lily, which is even more gray toned. Um, okay, I'm gonna hold on to those. Yeah, they smell fine. Oh my gosh, so I have this Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collab. This one is definitely way too old. This is a nude spice. Oh, that smells terrible. Okay, I'm gonna declutter that. This is, oh wow, Rose Decadent. Oh, I haven't used this at all. Okay, I'm gonna donate that one. Here is something from Millet Pepper. They sent me some things and I don't, I don't even think I've swatched this one. So I'm gonna donate this one as well. Oh, I see some more Victoria Beckham. So Chilean Sunset and Black Cassis. This Chilean Sunset, oh my God, so good. Isn't that beautiful? Are these bad? I think this was part of the newer collection, but I'm surprised these don't smell bad. Let me swatch. Oh, a little waxy. Yeah, once you swatch them, sometimes you can smell it better than just trying to smell it in the bullet. So I'm going to declutter. Black Cassis, I'm going to declutter. Coral Claire from Laura Mercier. Ooh, that one's smushed, but it's not used. I wonder if they'll take it. Yeah, it's like just smushed in the cap. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna donate it. To this day, this is still my favorite MAC collab. It was with Charlotte Olympia, that UK, um, UK based designer. And she just put like spider webs on everything and everything was acrylic. I loved this collection. S this is so old. This is at least five, six years old. I can't believe this doesn't smell bad. <laughs> wow, MAC. I'm gonna keep it anyway though, because I love this packaging. It's so cool. And then I did have to get this, this puggy from Sephora. Uh, before Miss Fuzzy Butters, I had a pug, so I do love pugs. And this is a black lipstick, which is not too far out of my wheelhouse. I don't wear it often though, uh, but I'm gonna hold on to that. All right, all right, all right, let's see. Let me rearrange all of this stuff. Wow, this drawer is looking so much better. It was like getting hard to close at one point. All right, well, let me show you what we're doing. Here is the Pat McGrath drawer. All right, so these are all the lipsticks that unfortunately I need to just toss out. They're old or used. And then these are all of the ones that I am able to donate to Project Beauty Share because they're all new, which is exciting. So that is it for this declutter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye.